Uh, g'day there, everyone. Uh, great to have you all back at the shack again. Uh, today we're going to be learning about friendship. Uh, so I've brought my friend, uh, Ranger Hardy, along. Yes. Uh, g'day, everyone. It's sensational to be here to visit with my good mate, Arnie. Uh, yes, uh, we've known each other for years and we get on really well. Oh, that's right, Arnie. Hey, you kids out there, have you got any good friends too? Uh, I'm sure they have, uh, Ranger Hardy. Uh, and today, uh, we're going to be learning about how to be a good friend. Sounds sensational, Arnie. Uh, anyway, Ranger Hardy, uh, we better get on with it. Uh, I know you've got a tight schedule, uh, so I'll catch your kids later, OK? Uh, see ya, uh, boy. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Don't have to be an intellect to the knowledge you need. What is most essential is to know, is to know Jesus. You don't have to be an intellect to the knowledge you need. What is most essential is to know, is to know Jesus. Jesus loves you so I'm so glad I know Jesus You don't have to be the best in the school Wear the latest clothes or act cool What you gotta know Is to know Jesus You don't have to be the best in the school Wear the latest clothes or act what you gotta know is to know Jesus. All you need to know is Jesus loves you so. I'm so glad I know Jesus. All you need to know is Jesus loves you so. I'm so glad I know Jesus. You don't have to be a movie star. Live in a big house or drive a fast car All you gotta know is to know Jesus You don't have to be a movie star Live in a big house or drive a fast car All you gotta know is to know school. That's a pretty big decision, Kelly. Uh, sounds to me like you had a bad day uh, at school today. Yeah, it was a really bad day and that's why I never want to go back. Uh, you want to tell me uh, what happened, Kelly? Uh, uh, okay, Grandpa, but it's just not fair. I've got no friends to play with. Shelly sat with Sophie at lunchtime and I had to sit all by myself. I thought Shelly was my friend. Uh, did 
Did Shelly tell you uh, uh, not to sit with her? Well, she she didn't say that, but when we came outside, Sophie was already sitting down and Shelly went and sat next to her. Uh, uh, so what did uh, you do, Kelly? I went and sat all by myself. Uh, uh, what did uh, Shelly do? Well, she called me to come and sit with her too, but I wanted her to come and sit with me. Yeah, so Sophie is uh, uh, new at your school. Yeah, she came yesterday. Her family just moved here. Uh, so does she know anyone here yet? No, she's only new. Uh, what's she like? Well, she's stealing my best friend, so I think she's pretty mean, actually. Uh, so she's just moved here. Uh, she's new. Uh, she doesn't know anyone. Uh, and she hasn't got any friends. She has now. She's stolen my friend. Now I've got no friends. Uh, Kelly, did you ever think that maybe she's uh, very lonely? Uh, moving to a new place and not knowing anyone? Uh, think how you might feel coming to a new school and not knowing anyone. Well, I guess it would be really hard. Well, if you were Sophie, what would you like the kids in your new school uh, to be like? I'd like them to be friendly and talk to me. Uh, is that what you've done to Sophie? Um, I... well, no, I guess I haven't. Uh, is that what Shelley has done? Yeah, I suppose she has. She has been friendly to Sophie and made her feel welcome. I suppose I've been pretty mean, Grandpa. Sophie must think that I'm not very nice. Now she'll never want to be my friend. Uh, Kelly, uh, do you remember the Bible verse, uh, do unto others? I haven't been doing that, have I, Grandpa? Uh, it doesn't sound like you have, Kelly. Uh, but why don't we pray right now for Jesus to change your heart and give you a new start tomorrow? Okay, Grandpa. Uh, okay. Uh, dear God, Kelly has had a bad day today. Uh, she has made some choices which have made both her and her friends sad. Oh, I know you really love Kelly. Uh, she is very special. Uh, please help to change her heart and give her a new start tomorrow. Uh, in Jesus' name, uh, amen. Amen. Thanks, Grandpa. I'm going to really try and treat Sophie the way Jesus would tomorrow. Uh, g'day kids, and welcome to Balloon Kaboom. And I've got my friend here, Pastor Darren. Hi Arnie, hi boys and girls, it's so great to be back again. Yeah, it's good that you could come. Um, what, what are we going to be making out of balloons today? I have a white balloon today. Yeah. I'm going to turn it into a farm animal. A farm animal. That's right. Oh, that'd be cool. So I'm going to inflate it. Yeah, I wonder if I've got one of these animals on my farm. I'm sure you will have. Mm. What do you reckon, kids? It's white. Yeah, white. I'm making a face. It's good to have a face. That's Every right. Every animal should have one. You're right, honey. Yeah. And I'm making a neck. Yeah, a neck. And this animal doesn't just have a face, he has a woolly face. A woolly face. I'm going to do six bubbles. Yeah, with one. six bubbles. You're going to count, kids? Three, Three, four, four five, five. What's next? Six. Six. Yep. That's right. I'm gonna put the wool over the face. Put the wool over the face. I often get wool pulled over my face. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. And some legs. Yeah, some legs. I passed the Darren. What's that, Arnie? Uh, making this animal must make you feel very happy. Why am I happy, Arnie? Because you've got a sheepish grin on your face. Oh, thanks, Arnie. You're bright today. Yeah, I think I just gave away a big clue, though, didn't I, kids? Has a tail. Yep. Now I'll give this animal some eyes. Some eyes. Yeah, some nice big ones. Yep. Yeah, and a mouth. 
can get some math as well. Okay. Now that's really good. There we have it. Now that's fantastic. What do you think that is? I reckon it's a sheep. That's right, it's a yeah, sheep. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I got it first time. You did. Darren. You did. Not just a sheep, it's a little lamb. A lamb. That's right. Have you ever seen an orphan lamb, Arnie? Oh, once or twice. When they lose their mother? Yep. And what does a lamb do once it gets to know you and gets to know who you are? What does it do? Um, follows me around all over the farm. That's right. Those lambs follow you wherever you go. They become really good friends, don't they? No, they do, yeah. In the Bible, it tells us that Jesus is our best friend. In fact, it describes him as the good shepherd. He's someone that we can follow wherever he goes. So just like a lamb follows us and is our best friend, we can follow Jesus wherever he goes and he's our best friend. I, I, I'm going to follow him. I am too. Okay. It pays to stick close to Jesus. He's there for us no matter what, boys and girls. Want to take the lamb and give it to Ranger Hardy? Oh yeah, he, he'd love to have a lamb in his collection. And when you give it to him, talk yeah. about orphan lambs and yeah. how Jesus is our best friend. Oh, absolutely. Ranger Hardy will um, really like this one. I'm sure he will. Uh, anyway, kids, it's time to go now. So from Balloon Kaboom, uh, we'll see you again. Till next time, boys and girls, goodbye. Yeah, catch you later, boy. Yeah, that's a good lamb. You like it? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's great. This is Postman PJ reporting for duty. Boys and girls, and welcome to Get Active with PJ. Today, we're going to play what we in Australia call soccer. Let's warm up. Yep, right leg. And your left leg, stretch it out. That's it. Okay, stretch your back leg. Yep, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the other side. That's it. And, and pick, um, pick, pick. Pick up that leg, yep, up, 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 come on, yep, oh, whoa, 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 what's going on, let's try the other one, oh, 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 it's it, whoa, 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 that's it, okay, okay, let's do some squats, down, up, down, up, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, I think we'll just do some leg exercises, yeah, that's it, up, down, up, down. Oh, oh dear. Let me just get up. Now, wh where is that ball gone? Wh where are you, ball? Um, hello? Oh, there you are. You cheeky little thing. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to show you the basics of how to kick a soccer ball. It's really easy. So, all you need to do is, is watch PJ, okay? Ready? You run up. Uh, and here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, I missed it! Oh boy! Okay, well boys and girls, 
Because I think I have a faulty ball here. Um, I think I'll try that again. We put the ball down, we step back and... Uh, where did that ball go? Oh, there you are. You've got a mind of your own, don't you? Okay, boys and girls. I'm going to kick this ball and it's the last thing I do. <laughs> okay. Let's line it up again. Okay, here we go. Ready? Watch PJ, boys and girls. And... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. At least I kicked it. Well, everybody, thank you for getting active with PJ. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for coming. Bye. Hi, my name's Jessica, and this is my friend Alexa. Today we are going to show you how to make friendship key rings. The reason that it is called a friendship key ring is because you need two people to make it. These are some of the key rings we made earlier. The things you need to make it with are some Scooby Doo's or wool or string, and some key rings. These are the colours that Alexa chose. Up now I'm going to show you how to make the friendship keyring. First you need your friend to hold the keyring for you and then you thread it through. Try and make it even so it's easier to plait. Then you've got to match up the colours and then you begin to plait. When you've got it as long as you want it to be, tie a knot into the ends of two of the colours and then two of the other colours. You might need a grain up to help you with this. You need to cut off the ends Then you have your friendship key. Here, Alexa. Thanks, Jess. You're my best friend. You're welcome. Check it out with Ranger Hardy. G'day, kids. It's Ranger Hardy here again. Hey, check this out. Pastor Darren made Arnie a little lamb out of balloons. Huh, pretty good, eh? Lambs are really friendly animals. They follow you around wherever you go especially when you've been feeding them. These twin lambs are orphans. Because they have no mum, they are now fed with a bottle. They just love drinking their milk. Look at their lovely woolen coats. When they get older and their wool grows, their woolen coats will be shorn off by a shearer. The wool makes things like jumpers, coats and even carpets. These lambs love to run around and play. Oh, look at them go! Little lambs are so cute! They are some more of the sensational creatures that God has made. I had a great time feeding them today. Anyway, gotta keep on moving. So much to fit into my tight schedule today. So from Ranger Hardy, I'll see you next time. Sensational! Slow down, Kelly. But Grandpa, Grandpa, it worked! What you said, it worked! Uh, well, tell me about it, Kelly. Well, when I got to school, Sophie was just walking in the gate too. So I went over to her and, and talked to her. And you know what? She's really nice. She even has...
has the same favourite colour as me. You know, orange. And, and now Shelly and Sophie and I, we're all friends. Oh, I'm so glad, Kelly. Uh, being friendly to people is something we should always do. Uh, remember, treat others the way you would like to be treated. You're right, Grandpa. And, and you know what? What's that, Kelly? Well, I found out that you can actually be friends with lots of people. Uh, good on you, Kelly. Uh, that's an important lesson you've learned. And don't forget, you've got a very special friend who will never let you down. Yeah, and I know who that is, Grandpa. It's Jesus! Friends had just let me down, it made me feel bad What I needed was a friend to be there To never let me down and always care Jesus is always there for you Jesus, he always cares for you Jesus can live inside of you Jesus can always be your friend To be the one on who I can depend Now I have Jesus inside my heart He is my best friend and we'll never part Jesus is always there for me Jesus, he always cares for me Jesus, he lives inside of me Jesus, he always is my friend He's always there for me, Jesus. He always cares for me, Jesus. He lives inside of me, Jesus. He always is my friend. I hope you've learned something about being a good friend today. You know, if you want a friend, you really need to be a friend. Uh, that's the lesson that Kelly learned today. Uh, she found that when she was friendly, uh, she could actually be friends with lots of people. Uh, and she was so much happier then as well. Uh, there is a text in the Bible in Proverbs 17, uh, verse 17, uh, which says, uh, A friend loves you all the time. A uh, brother is always there to help you. Uh, that's the sort of friend that Jesus wants us to be. Uh, oh, I know sometimes friends can let you down, uh, but there is one true friend who will never let you down, uh, no matter what. Uh, his name is Jesus. And you know, he really wants to be your friend too. Uh, anyway, uh, got to go again. I'll catch up with you all back at the shack uh, next time. Uh, see ya. Uh, catch you later. Uh, bye. Here he goes. Postman <laughs> <laughs> oh. PJ reporting for duty. <laughs> Jesus, he wants to be your friend. Jesus, he wants to be your friend. Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend. Take it away, girls! Jesus, he wants to be your friend. Go, girls! Jesus, he wants to be your friend. Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend. He wants to be your friend, yes he does, he wants to be your friend, Jesus loves you and he wants to, you tell him girls, be your friend, Jesus wants to be your friend, he's your friend, Jesus wants to be your friend. Yeah.
See you later, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we've had lots of fun, and we'll see you back at the shack uh, next time. Yeah, uh, catch you later. Uh, God bless. <laughs>